welcome to next lecture of javascript it's me hassam from utech and you are learning a javascript and in this lecture we will discuss about javascript's objects there are three different kinds of objects and how to utilize these objects how to work with these objects open your code editor and let's do some practical okay let's start with the script tag make some space so we can see our code and first kind of object is object literal okay so and how to write an object let me show you var person curly braces and let's say first name and that is the sum second value is last name and Ali remove Ali from here again comma separated age let's say age is a number so we can type a number here and that is not actually my age <laughs> that is for the practice and let's say the skills the skills and let me show you first of all what is this and how can we use it to display this object so first of all let's display this object console.log and person save refresh and let me open my console and you can see this object age 15 first name last name all right and what if we need only a first name so what we have to do dot first name save and reload and i got the sum and this also work with age if we need an age save reload we got the age this is same as array but this is for the different processes and this is and it's a little advanced level and proper way of and even inside this we can define an array like skills array html css again separated by comma Control save and what if we need to display this skill person dot skills sorry what's wrong with my caps lock skills save and reload the page and you can see we got the array and if you want only this HTML you can type here zero like we use an array refresh we got the html with zero with one we will got a css and we can even define an object inside an object like address curly braces and inside this object street separated by comma after the street city and we say swath and state even this will be kpk save and now we need a address i forgot that address is coming here okay save refresh and now you can see we are getting our proper object inside the object street city state what if we need just a city so for that this is not an array this is a simple object so inside the object we use this dot and city save reload we got this city only and one more we can even define our function inside the object let's say 
फुल नेम फंक्शन एंड वी विल रिटर्न दिस फंक्शन दिस डॉट फर्स्ट नेम एंड कैन कैटिनेट द सेकेंड नेम विद इट विद द स्पेस सो प्लस अगेन दिस डॉट वट इज दिस लास्ट नेम ओके सो वट इज दिस 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 इज एक्चुअली टेलिंग दिस फंक्शन एंड दिस फंक्शन दिस इज टेलिंग दिस ऑब्जेक्ट टू सेलेक्ट द फर्स्ट नेम इन दिस ऑब्जेक्ट सो इफ यू आर वर्किंग इन साइड दिस ऑब्जेक्ट यू कैन यूज दिस सो दिस फर्स्ट नेम इज दिस दिस लास्ट नेम इज दिस एंड हाउ वी कैन कॉल दैम एंड हेयर वी विल राइट अ फुल नेम and remember this is a function so put the brackets save and reload the page we got the hasam ali first name second name concatenated together in a function object literal and let's move on to another object and that is object constructor so how can we use this object constructor var apple variable apple is equal to new object remember in definition i told you javascript is object based and then apple dot color is red fine apple dot shape let's say brown red and brown so now just a simple console dot log and apple dot color that's all we have to do here save reload the page and we got the red color and if we need a shape copy this line paste and do it here shape save reload we got the shape also so let's add the proper function for this constructor apple dot describe is equal to function and in return we will say and apple is color of apple dot color and is the shape again this value apple dot shape like this and remove the space from here extra space and to display this just to comment this and here we will say console dot log and what is this apple dot describe and this is function so remember put the brackets here save reload and apple is a color of red and is the shape of brown so let me fix this actually i have created so much space for the next line save reload and now it's a proper so one more thing is that what if we want more than one fruit like it's just apple we want banana we want grapes and we want oranges so we have to create this again and again and for the new fruit so if the value is single you can use this and there is one more way of doing this and that is constructor pattern structure pattern so here we will say function capital fruit name color shape we give them a parameter that will dynamically keep adding the new food so what we want here we want this name is equal to name this color is equal to color and this shape is equal to shape before creating a function let me show you something how this will work variable 
apple is equal to new fruit okay and then they inside the brackets give them a value apple first separated by comma red separated by comma and then round and after this type console dot log apple save refresh the browser name apple color red shape round so now if we need one more fruit we have just to copy this line so now if we need one more fruit we have to just copy this line and paste it here change it to melon green save fresh the browser we got another fruit so we can do some more things with it with the function this describe equal to function here we will start with the return because we want these values to be returned in this parameters with the help of these parameters this value will work here so what we want we want return and we will write a sentence here uh, this dot name and then is the color this dot sorry color and is the shape this dot shape and color and after completing this let's call this in below console log apple dot describe and it's again a function so put the brackets here save refresh the browser save and refresh the browser a melon is color green and it's a shape round so what if we need a one more fruit here just copy this first line refresh and it will get the second value uh, apple is a color red and the shape brown and now if you need more fruits just add these lines add the another line and it will get your new fruit so this is called constructor pattern what you have to do here you have to define a one main function here with the capital name it's a convention actually we pass three parameters inside this fruit function the first parameter name is equal to name this will work with this the second parameter will be color the third parameter will work with shape so then we describe our method in method we ask for this name this color and this shape and where we have to define this name color shape we will define here variable apple new fruit this model name will come here new fruit apple red round and this will and this will pass around this name color shape and it will dynamically replace all these value over here so this is called a constructor pattern and one more thing in pattern is we can define our variables like variable users so here we will define an array multiple array name sunny sunny separated by comma age 20 comma and we can copy paste this for two more times and this will be 21 22 24 and again we can do in a same way console dot log users and which one we want which one array this array again get the default value from 0 1 and 2 so we want first one so 0 save reload the browser and you will see name sunny age 
is 20 and if you want just name dot name save reload and you will get only name so this is all about the objects our objects are working in javascript move on with the events one of the most important javascript aspect is events javascript is created to make web pages dynamic so to do this we have some events like click scroll drag or whatever and javascript will take care of all those things that are going on between the user mouse and the browser so let's do some work with the events open your code editor okay after opening your code editor let's create a button here button tag we say click me and we put the attributes here on on click and on click what will happen to click this is a function actually let's describe the do click function here function do click and what will happen when the user click alert someone clicked save and reload the click and it says someone clicked we can now even change this text over here with this click now it says someone split and what if we want to change this text for doing this come here in the on click remove this and type this dot inner html is equal to type the value here you want to put let's say you click save and click here refresh click here and it says you click it changed the element value but uh, this is not a proper way of doing this putting everything in line with the javascript so let's create a function properly and this uh, inner html is a javascript core function so it's better to create our own function so come here and remove this on click change text and this is the parameter we will pass this save and create a function here change text here i will put the id actually this id is this inside the function define id dot inner html is equal to you clicked save and refresh and click again it also works same as before but this is a proper way of doing this instead of putting javascript inside the html okay guys now suppose we want if when we click on this button this text should be changed so for doing this get this h1 tag put it in the header and inside the header push the our heading and give it an id by a heading here inside the script define a function change text this one we are using here with this button what we will use here is called dom function get element by id and there are a bunch of dom functions so here we will use here we will use document dot get element by id and inside this get the id that is heading make that equal to a variable heading and in next line heading dot inner html is equal to what we want here is the value we want to display here when the button is clicked so we say here you clicked me save 
reload the browser and click this dom function get element by id is getting this id and it's changing the inner html with the help of with the help of this with the help of this core javascript function it's changing the inner html in h1 and when we click on this it changes the text we can change the button text we can change the headings of this is just a heading we can change the navbar we can change the paragraph so now let's display dynamically date with this javascript and this button so remove this and come here remove this also so we need a date here so we will create a new function show date save change the text also show date inside the script start the function which is show date and inside this variable time is equal to document get element by id and we say it's a time and we don't have this id so where we want to display our date we want to display here h1 and don't write anything inside this just give it a id of time so we have a function show date variable time document dot get element this g is small get element by id time so our time will display in this div come to the next line time dot inner html is equal to date function of javascript this is a javascript date function it dynamically display your time brackets here like this save reload and when we click on show date it will show the date dynamically reload click again it will show the date dynamically there is one more function with this we can use a uh, we can use on mouse over over here on the button on mouse over you can see there are so many on mouse over save reload and when i will bring the mouse on top of this button this will display the date and uh, and we can hide this with the another function we have one more function that is mouse out like if you moving a mouse on top of this button it's displaying a date if we move mouse out of this button this date should be hidden so let's create one more on mouse out hide date and let's create this function copy this paste here we will type hide date remember to put the brackets here because it's a function hide date and when someone move out the mouse we keep this empty so nothing will happen refresh and this is now working over dynamically with each and every seconds so this is how these dom functions and get element by id on click events this all work we have one more that is on load like if we want someone when he load the page for the first time so we want browser to do something or to show something we usually put this in on body like on load show date save and reload and you can see now it will display the date when this page will be loaded refresh and it will display the date so this is all with the events and object and i will see you in the last lecture with the javascript forms so if you don't understand anything so you don't have to worry about this for sure you are using and learning this for the first time practice more so you will be useful to it and you will understand this what is going on and how to use things like this because practice is the only thing that will make you understand 
what we have to do and how we have to do so practice more and more and i will see you in the next lecture and if you have any question post it in the comment section i will assist you i will guide you and best of luck